But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna use piece of shit weapons anymore. I think I'm quite done with that. It's just, yeah, it's it's projectile spam, and you know, honestly, you it's impossible to aim. You can't aim it. And the SMD is just look at the disadvantages. It's awful. So you know, I'd honestly, I'd roll with this. This is my favorite combination. And just swap out to Jurati if you need to, uh, if you need to get a bit of like AOE damage on people. There you go, 35 points. If you need a little bit of AOE, then that's all you do. Just switch to Jurati, and you'll get like you'll get some team build, team helping as well. You know, um, it, I wouldn't concern myself with such things. And there's like you know, um, I don't. Oh yes, the cozy camper. Let's go use that for a little bit. So this one is an interesting. Uh, apparently, I'm on blue again. Uh, so I get one health regeneration, but no flinching and knockback is reduced. But uh, well, well, this is all while aiming, and then but you get the 80% move, slower move. Look at this movement speed. Now the thing you have to understand about actually the movement speed is it matters. It really does. And I prefer the shield because that's more upfront damage, and you can just go get health back and you get your health back kind of a thing. Uh, I would honestly prefer that overall. Um, because the flinching is actually not a big deal, because you're usually not in danger anyways. So it's not something that actually helps you survive or in combat. The regeneration is nice, sure, because then you get to regenerate your health and you get that health capped, like, all the time. At 125. But I, I just still, I don't buy into it at all. But the speed really matters, because one of the things you can do when you're a sniper versus sniper is you can kind of, like, um... The problem is, like, whenever you take a shot... No, like, I'm just holding strafe, by the way, right now. Right now. He knows how the, the delay is there. You know, even if I kind of, like, scope it, like, I, you can also fake scope, basically, and you're not as, you don't have the delay as much. Like, oh god, this is horrible. Like, how am I supposed to peek around this corner? I'm not supposed to. It's just, you can't, the movement actually matters more than you think. It really does. Oh god, I'm gonna evade these things. But I have health regeneration. Yeah. That's all that matters. I would not take the... You're just leaving yourself open to get killed by other snipers. That's all that's happening. The, the only thing you can do is just crouch, I guess. It's really... I don't know. And now I can't even, like, get anybody anymore. Oh well. At least I got the... The little car to hang around I guess I don't know it feels it feels too much as a disadvantage for advantages that aren't really there okay let me see if I can go get the sentry without being shot uh, 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 oh I don't know how this guy did kill me you're dead now you're both dead now okay <laughs> I don't know it's it's funny it it's a it's a shitty shitty thing. It really is. Is there a sentry down here? Oh, there is. And I have this thing still. I don't know why I do because my health is constantly regenerating. I'm never gonna use that that sword, but I had it as my my secondary. Because honestly, I don't really care when it comes to melee weapons. There we go. Oh, what? That didn't shoot him? Well, now it did. Okay, well, time to never use that thing again. So I just wanted to show that off what that does. It's a piece of shit, so... That's all you really need to know. So yeah, this is this is my preferred setup. So if you if you like the SMG for finishing shit off, go right ahead. I prefer no scoping, and that means I can get a plus 25 HP bonus because of that. So it's uh, not, not, too, not too shabby at all. But uh, in terms of like, class matchups, though... Uh, the, uh, basically, the scout is one of your soft counters. What the hell's wrong with this guy? Am I dominating him? No, I don't know. The, the scout is actually one of your soft counters because they have such a small head hitbox. And they're so... They're so easy to basically move up to you and flank you and all that kind of shit. Uh, that, that's, and so basically the only thing you'd really hope to do is either have the SMG to defend yourself if you're really having an issue, uh, or no scoping, or you can really try and take that, that one lucky shot with your, with your sniper rifle. And, uh, you know, occasionally I'll get that, 
But on the more evasive scouts, I will have a problem, and it's, it is going to come down to a bit of luck because uh, they do they have the advantage. Now, there's really no there's not a whole lot of hard counters in this game, uh, and that's what I mean about being mobile and kind of just watching your surroundings, kind of thing. Whoa. Uh, and. And so yeah, so the scout is definitely one of your soft counters by by a long shot. Um, the soldier is not one of your your counters. Uh, oh, I got spied again. The spy doesn't like me. I think uh, the, the, the soldiers is obviously not. It's more of a combat class, and you're you're supposed to be a support class. So you're supposed to be sniping, obviously, from long range. So the soldier is more of a class that. Uh, they have to rocket. Uh, they have to rock gym to get into close range. They're slow, so they are actually pretty easy to kill. Uh, the same with demo men. Uh, same deal. They'll have to spam you basically from long range, which can be irritating. But ultimately, they hate you, so they're probably gonna have to. They're gonna have to put up with you. And uh, and and they pretty much have the disadvantages, and you don't. And now I got sniped by him. Okay. Is that the guy I killed like the last three times? I, I didn't see him over there. I guess I missed it. Uh, and as for the pyro, the pyro is an annoyance, not a counter uh, in the slightest, because they have to get up really close to you. And judging by the fact that most of the time you're going to be in the back of the team or have someone in front of you, because I never, I never lead the charge. At least I try not to, because that's not my job. Uh, it's not my job as a sniper to cap points and stuff, although I sometimes will, uh, you know, for, for lulls. I... I heard you, you fuck. Anyways, um... Yeah, they, they won't be able to do that. So our engineer. The pyro, you know, they'll get into close range occasionally. You know, and they'll, like, you just, you won't win. That's basically what it is. Like, they, you basically have the, the, the strongest class at long range and who's the weakest at short range versus the class that has a, a flamethrower that you can't really fuck up. Like, it's really hard to, to miss, like, you know, I guess like a demo or, or a soldier, you know, they'll miss rockets or something like that. Uh, that happens, you know, but it's... Against the pyro, yeah, you, you won't really do much from close range, but you'll kill him from long range. He's not gonna be able to do much. Hey, me. By me. Oh. Uh, sniper was over there. Sniper versus sniper is one of the worst things. Um, so against heavies, you are their soft counter. Uh, heavies won't be able to do much. Uh, from long range, they're just, they're toast. That's pretty much how it goes. Uh, so you don't have to worry about heavies all that much, uh, which is, you know, kind of nice. And they're, they have, like, nice big head hitboxes, so, you know, they're, they're nice, they're nice and fun to kill. Uh oh. There you go. I got him a little bit on the, uh, just on the corner of his head there. But, uh... Oh, and there we go. Two guys, two of them ambushed me. I didn't even see the engineer. You know, I saw the engineer run somewhere. I don't know why I didn't just assume he was over there somewhere. By the way, always always keep moving as a sniper. Don't do this, whatever this guy's doing. I don't even, he better be in his menu or something. Uh, let's see what other classes. Engineer, engineer and sniper don't really fight each other. Uh, they both play support roles and they're both kind of like, they, they don't really kill each other. So it's really hard to come up with a relationship with it for them. Um, you can coordinate with a soldier to take out like a sentry or something, uh, but it's really not something that you should really worry about. It just kind of like it's it's a nice like you it's one of those things like you know sometimes engineers can kill snipers and sometimes snipers can kill engineers. You know they they can both make their their lives difficult. But really the area denial thing does not apply for snipers in the slightest. Wake up out of your head, wanker. Spy round here. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Well, you know we're we're not really being helpful here, so I'm just gonna move out. 
Uh, what the fuck? Always with the it, with the face. What what is my ping at? And what is his ping at? I don't even know. This the server is emptying anyways. Um, he's doing a side stab. So on his screen, it it appears it's the Valve decided to add side stabs, which I disagree with, because then you get shit like like that, where it's really like not like a when there's like even like a couple of milliseconds of difference, then he gets to do shit like that. I just saw. Her. Did this guy just die? What happened to the sniper that killed him? Yeah, whatever, we'll just go up here and we'll, uh, we'll snipe whoever got him. Um, and against, uh, so against Medic, it's, uh, you know, Medic doesn't really counter anything. Medic is kind of just there. So once in a while I like to look behind me. Kind of high roll. What is that pyro doing? Okay, well now you're dead. So what, when did the demo man get a cape? Crazy, crazy thing he, they gave him. Thinks he's Superman or some shit. I don't even know about half the items they added to this game. Now, you know, I've been seeing a sniper here occasionally. So, there, there's your, there's a problem with the... The, the, the scout, which is like, I can't, I can't hit him. Okay, I'll take that. I'm just gonna cap it. There you go, now we get the forward spawn. Okay, you can try and stick at me, that's fine. Now, Sniper versus Sniper is interesting because it is the most threatening class to you, basically, because it's like, uh, the only thing I can take out a long-range assassin is another long-range assassin, uh, from that kind of range. So it's kind of, you, whether you like it or not, you're eventually going to have to di dip into the, the, the magical world of Sniper versus Sniper. It sucks, it really does, nobody ever likes it. Like, all snipers hate it, but, you know, you kind of have to deal with it. There's different strategies on how, on, on doing it. Damn it. I see him. Oh god. He's coming for me. He's probably dead ringer. There you go. Well, there's no helping me there. Uh, was, oh wait, he had full health? Oh, he must have gone back for the health, but the health kit before attacking me. That happens. Uh, so against, uh, snipers, you know, you can, there's a whole bunch of things you can do, but usually the guy who's already scoped in will probably lose. Uh, but when both players are not scoped in, uh, it, it, it's a little bit in question. He's probably gonna come up this way. Actually, the spy can... No, no, he's over there. And he's dead. Like, I can just wait for this guy to scope in, basically. So, this guy, this guy knows what's up. And the demo's gonna just try and spam me from long range here. Ah, uh, fucking spies. Yeah, that's the problem. You charge up and you get killed, kind of a thing. It's also a very empty game right now, so I guess I'll just finish up with my, uh, my class, uh... <laughs> class selection kind of thing. Um, so again, spies, obviously spies are your counter because, you know, uh, you are usually in the back uh, and the spies just come into the back and they'll uh, they'll just shoot you in the face. Uh, well, not shoot you. Well, they, they can do that now, too. They kind of, they kind of are now crossed over with the... Um... Oh, come on. So you know what? Let's just get this. Fuck you, scout. Damn it. He's like, he's like trying to fucking kill me. What a dick. But, um... Please health back. Please come back. Oh, why thank you, scout. You know, Vault Boy 13, you're the best. I love you. Uh, the only things you can really do against spies is basically be aware, be perceptive. And that also helps you against ambushers who are trying to get behind you when you are being aware and perceptive. 
it's it's kind of nice. It kind of it's a double-edged sword coming in that way, so it's it's nice. Uh, I think the sniper went over there. <laughs> that was great. That was great shit. Uh, you know, and, and that's pretty much why you play a classic sniper to begin with. It's basically when you're an ad adrenaline junkie. And you basically love making that, that really sweet shot with the... Uh, you know, and just kind of like... Yeah. That guy, like, you know, it, sometimes people must be embarrassed. They just kind of come out and they go... Like, that guy was obviously doing something funky. And then it's kind of like, well, you know, I'm right here and I'll just shoot you in the face. Now, here I unfortunately can't stop, but I, it looks like I got lucky there. Lucky again. I, I won't even pretend that was anything else. Now you can take a shot at people who are just kind of like being weird. Like I don't, I don't really know what he was doing, he just like, I didn't have a corner to hide behind. So he decided to run behind a corner. And I love the no scopes. This is why I just don't bother with the SMG. You know, I pr much prefer. I think you will notice that I, I more often than not will have the the plus uh, the the plus twenty five HP twenty five HP will actually save my life more often than not. So. Yeah, fuck off. Coming right up to you. <laughs> A man's duel. <laughs> yes. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, Mike Lattice is high school. Three dime kills. So that, that didn't go too badly. That was actually pretty nice. So I think I'll leave it off there. That was, uh, that was a pretty good way to end it. Um, and with that being said, yep. Really great class, and I hope you uh, learned a thing or two. And maybe I'll do another one if you have any questions, or I'll answer qu questions and comments. Uh, the hood I'm using here is like Eve, uh, Eve competitive or something. That's what it's called. So that's that's what I roll. And I also have, I think I have, the, I have the quake hit sounds as well. That's the only way I've modded this. Hey, yeah, I had a couple minutes left, so I figured I'd finish it up with a couple more tips. And also, I didn't talk about this Malaya. Um, so. My advice to you, if you're if you're an aspiring sniper, uh, it is a fun class. Uh, but there's only about like one, maybe two required on each team, um, and even then, it's not really required. Uh, it's better to train when there's no uh, snipers on on your team, or just maybe just one. So don't stop, don't load out, like don't overload the the sniper class at all. But if you're starting out. Uh, Personally, I recommend th changing things like your crosser and all that. Get get yourself comfortable with things like that because um, usually I actually hide my primary view model, but everyone seems to complain whenever I post videos about it. Like, how did you hide it? But anyways, um, the way you do, the way you make the most effective shots is uh, both a little bit of anticipation and and kind of all like prediction, anticipation, all that. So you know, if I if I want to hit that spy over there and I'm I'm aiming over here, you know, I have to like drag my little crosser here and then kill him like that. Um, that's not good. What you do is you first acquire your target by putting your crosshair kind of near him, and then you adjust your aim accordingly, and then you'll be able to kill him basically. Uh, and and also, you know, um, unfortunately there is a little bit of a, a a one second delay. Like try and make quick snapshots. So basically, when you when you go into the thing, just go like kind of like down like that, uh, and you get used to it. You get used to it. You get used to it really fast. However, if you do, if you do it quick too quickly, like look at that. Well, that's not fast enough, but. Yeah, like that. That you see, I did hit him in the head, but there is like a there's like a split second delay. You see, when my bar starts charging up, basically, is when it applies. Uh, you may think that doesn't make a di big difference, but for me, it does because I can I can actually make the the, the split second shots, kind of thing. So um, just keep that in mind if you go too fast, basically, kind of thing. And now now I'm really trying to emulate that again, but I'm not doing it at all. Uh, but that's that's one little interesting thing. Um, as well as for the the, the shiv here, uh, a lot of snipers like this one because mostly when spies are around or cloaking or whatever, you kind of like you can see the blood bleeding. You can see where they run, uh, especially if they if they have like a dead ringer on them. I am personally not a huge fan of it. I don't think it makes a difference for me. Uh, maybe I probably should run it more often. But what you what you're ideally want to be doing 
is you want to have someone who's coming near you and you just kind of like and then you start running away and just you kind of stack that damage on essentially and if you're running just the the snipe the, the sniper then you kind of like while you're running away kind of and then hopefully that will kill them basically and it did that that one i did actually so two no scopes and a shiv is going to actually kill a, a pyro which is interesting so that's that's what i would do with it basically you know, just run away, no scoping, because it does do it. Like, if all you're gonna do is try and like hit someone with this over and over again, this does like way less damage than the normal the normal malaise. So it's just it's not good. Like, I, it already took me three. It took me. It takes me four hits. It's ridiculous. Hey demo. Hey demo. Anyways, but yeah. So that's that's my advice to you, if you're a uh, aspiring sniper, basically. And yeah, you can check out uh, mikelatcom slash about to see what kind of mouse I use. The mouse is the biggest part. I use some kind of, it's like a Microsoft optical mouse right now. So in case that changes, it's, uh, I have it on my little website there. Um, see, that's what I mean about the, 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 the delay there. It's, it, it gets ridiculous at times, but uh, you get, you have to, you have to basically just adjust it. So you just wait a second after. You can also let people walk into your shots, basically. Like in, in this map, in this training map, this is TR walkway. You can kind of let them do that, but uh, it's a it, it's a good way to train against moving targets, basically. But uh, it's 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 fun stuff, so that's all I really want to show you. And uh, that's it. I'm I'm pretty much done uh, with with this uh, let's play. So hope you liked it, and uh, see you next time. Then bye.